Hello. Hello. Finally, my inner Orlando Bloom today. Yeah, it was good. Our constructed new bench today. Got some new improvisation going on. It's not perfect, but it's us. It has character. Yes, it does. It's got a lot more space. We're on four for us. It's a wild John. Dude, I'm on camera. <laughs> oh man, I gotta make sure I'm like doing my best potting ability. Yeah, you know, people are gonna follow you out. And you put the camera on me, and I just suddenly forget how to. <laughs> I was literally, I was about to say that. I was like, <laughs> this is one of those things where the second you start being filmed, it's like, uh, what, what was I doing? <laughs> how do I, how do I do simple actions? Yeah. Got these dubia totems. These things are super cool. They're really deceiving. They grow up to be huge if you keep, like, if they mature. Yeah. Yeah, Wes has one at his house that's massive. I remember he used to have it on the totem here. Yeah. If my dog don't bark, unless he sees a horse. out of these. Alright, <laughs> there we go. Yep. They look really cool. Obviously I don't have one to show you here, but they're in the tub section if you want to go see them. <laughs> uh, that's pretty far. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, John. Hello, Shane. How are you doing today? Doing wonderful. Yeah? You're plugging away. You're plugging away. Uh, did you fill all these pots? Uh, I think these are the ones that Bradley filled, and I filled the ones down there. But kind of, a I at this point plugged more pots than I've filled. Mm. So pretty cool. How many uh, plants planted today so far? I think I'm in the six fifty something range. Six sixty. Right, this is um. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 656, 67. This is like 672 ish. Nice. I have to recount them, but it's a lot. What are you hey, up to? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Say hello. How you doing? What's up, Gabriella Plants? There we go. Yeah. What are you working on? Um, helping John out with some TC. Alright. Uh, he's got a lot of TC, so I'm going to help him out. For the rest of the day nice and uh got some jams some mm -hmm. tunes so we're gonna we're gonna bump it up isn't that right yearn that's right, that's right. And what is brett up to hi I am making a pesticide guide so that when our pesticide applicators uh, go to use whatever chemicals um, that they want to, instead of having to read and sift through every single label on each pesticide bottle, which sometimes can be like 20 pages long, I'm putting all of the information all together in one little fun booklet so that they can just look at that and know how much they should use, what they should use, and say, what does it Does it include it the measuring tricks? Because that's half the time. Yes, um, and so all inclusive. Number of times I've tried to figure out what a tablespoon is in milliliters or vice versa <laughs> is uh, terrible. For smaller dosing, of yeah. course, but so that's what I'm working on. For smaller dosing. <laughs> For smaller dosing. That's awesome.
They have a plant sale every so often. Um, and Deterra are known as devil trumpets. Sorry. Um, they're like purple. They're really pretty. I have one blooming in the back. And so one had bloomed a couple months ago um, and it set seed. And so I harvested the seed, sowed the seeds. And now we have uh, babies that have germinated. So this was November 17th. I planted the seeds. And so, little baby's growing. Adorable. Adorable. All right, <laughs> so let's go look at Mama. All right, so this is wow. Deterra Metal Fatu Fastuosa. Fastuosa. Super pretty. And so you'll see, it started opening last night. Um, it's a double bloom, absolutely beautiful, and it seems to be self-pollinating because I haven't been actively pollinating it, but the flowers are dropping off and they're setting seeds, so this is a fruit here that's swelling. You can see this one's bigger, it's close to ready. There's a smaller one up here. So basically what happens is uh, the life cycle is uh, flower blooms and then flower shrivels and then if it was pollinated it'll start to swell and there are seeds inside and then as it swells it'll get bigger like this one down here and then what happens is once it's ripe and ready it'll burst open like you can actually see here and this one actually still has seeds inside so these are seeds in here that then I germinated these seeds and uh, we got babies sprouting. And so um, they are super, super toxic. I mean, a lot of houseplants we grow are toxic, but this one is especially toxic. Um, but I mean, with a flower like this, I feel like it's kind of worth it. Just uh, so pretty. Wow. Just keep apples away from it. Yep. But fun something uh something that we never expected to grow that now because the plant decided to give us seeds we're now able to grow and eventually probably another three or four months we'll have four inch ready to go and we can bring them to you philodendron pink princess inflorescence watch okay so you can see this is our resident uh ppp that we have here that i mean do you look at the detail here of this trunk how it has worked its way up around this pole with these aerial roots everywhere all the way up i mean look at how dark and gorgeous that leaf is and look at this one split oh so good but okay so Finally, it only took six or seven feet up the pole <laughs> that this pink princess now is sexually mature. And you can see here, we are developing one, two, oh yeah, look at that guy there, here, really three, inflorescence, inflorescences forming. So uh, an inflorescence, uh, as we've covered before, is a sexual structure that basically is comprised of a bunch of individual flowers um so i mean we're probably still two or three weeks away so what's going to happen is these pod looking things are going to continue to swell and get larger and then eventually they will open up and we hopefully will be here that night and be able to pollinate it with something crazy and produce some sort of pink princess hybrid which would be really exciting like really exciting 
This is my filled engine jungle boogie here. I've had for years, actually one of the first plants I ever got when I moved to Florida. Um, and we have an inflorescence here. Um, so it opened last night, so it was female receptive last night and I didn't pollinate it, which means tonight it's going to release pollen. Um, so I will try to be here uh, tonight so that we can catch that pollen to then try to use in a later cross. Um, but we also have more inflorescence forming. So, I mean, this guy basically all winter is going to be blooming nonstop. And then let me also show you some other inflorescences we have growing on. All right, so this guy here, this is my philodendron tortum. Look at this leaf. Ah, oh, so good. So good. Uh, this Philodendron Tortum won Best in Show at the International Air Raid Society Show in 2019. Mm. And it is a true champion. And so we have one, two, three inflows forming here. Um, and so that'll be exciting to watch these to potentially do a cross. Because could you imagine this with a pink princess or something? Like, so crazy. All right. And then, I a picture of like, right? what that would look like. <laughs> We have our mama here who we have pollinated before, um, so we have some inflows forming. So this one is spent, which means it's already done its course, but we have one, two here forming. This is radiatum, who we've collected pollen from before, but I mean, look at all of these inflows here. We got one, two, three, four. This guy is really close. We got this one here. And I mean, these are chunky. Look how big this is. This one's super close. And then this, this is our resident philodendron maximum. Let me see if I can even get back here to show you this. But he just disappeared. <laughs> Hold on. Can you see all the inflows here? Yeah. On this thing. And it's interesting that if you see these, all these spots, mm -hmm. and you can even see, can you see on this one here how there's almost like sticky substance coming out of it? Yeah. So these spots are known as extra floral nectaries. Um, it's an evolutionary adaptation that some plants possess that basically what they'll do is they'll secrete this sugary, sticky substance from these extra floral nectaries, and it is an attempt to attract pollinators so that even before the flower is open, the insects, whether it be ants or beetles or whatnot, are attracted to it and will come to the plant and feed on the sugary substance. And then hopefully by the time that the inflorescence is open, they then will be there to be able to assist in pollination. So some philodendron have extra floral nectaries, not all of them. But so if you ever see dots like this with a sticky substance, it's not a pest. It is just your plant that's really happy secreting a, a sugary substance that you actually can taste. And it's really sweet. It's like molasses. It's really wow. good. Yeah. Well. I'm not even gonna be able to move this guy, but so this is my OG Philodendron Imperial Green. I mean, look at the trunk on this. So big. Long boy. But so we have inflows here. This one's gonna open soon. We got, this is Philodendron Ring of Fire. Super pretty that we have two inflows on and they're so close, you can see I mean, this one, it's not that bulbous, but you can see this one has like started to swell that basically it's getting super close to opening and being receptive. So that's your kind of visual cue of when it's exactly ready to go. when it's when it's getting close, because mm. as we've seen on some other ones, when they're young, they look like they're skinny little pencils and mm. then they'll start to get bigger. And then when you start to see them kind of the bottom in gorge, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's getting pretty close. Nice. Uh, this is a philodendron golden saw. Um, so it's kind of like a uh, yellow jungle boogie. And so look, we have an inflow here that it looks like might have 
either already opened or is about to. You can see it's starting to peak open here. Um, but then, see this one is probably another two weeks, but then you can see this one here. That's what it starts to look like. When it just starts, it's just peeking out. And so you're probably like three weeks away from that one being fully mature. Thank you everybody for watching this week's vlog. Remember to go to GabriellaPlants.com and we have thousands of plants ready for you, shipped to you from our greenhouse to your house. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe.